So hi, yes, it's Kirsty here. We are at the Prince's Trust at Weaver's Court in Belfast. And joining me, two people that who you should instantly recognise, of course, <laughs> Ant and Dick. Hello. Hello. You have finally made it to Belfast. Yes. It's great to see you. But of course, you guys are from here originally. Anyway. <laughs> well, well yeah, if you've yeah. seen our DNA journey. Then you'll know we're both from here. Descendants what? of a Viking, <laughs> young, long ago. We're do home. Do kings, uh, kings involved somewhere? Do we not need yeah, to bow down? No kings. I think, you, you I think I was a, a high, high, high king. king. And was just your bog standard king. Your bog whereas standard rural king. My uh, my ancestors were high kings, apparently. High kings, okay. Well, well, well we're bowing down to you. Here anyway, haven't you. I've got family in Northern Ireland. Yeah, still got aunts and uncles and cousins all here. Yeah, I used to come on holiday here every summer. Fab. So well, where did you go? Um, my mum's from Draperstown, uh -huh. and my dad's from Desert Martin. So we went between the two the two places, and yeah, we used to hang out here for my summer holidays. Fabulous. Was the weather good then? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Hit and miss. <laughs> Sometimes. Anyway, the reason I've that you're... I've never been on holiday here, but I <laughs> have done a segue to of the Titanic quarter, <laughs> and it was wonderful. <laughs> you need to come for a holiday then sometime. Okay. Yeah, okay. So next year, next year. Anyway, the pair of you are here uh, today because mm. something very exciting is happening with the Prince's Trust. Mm. You guys have been involved, what, 20 years now as ambassadors? Yes. yes. But for anybody who's watching and they don't know what the Prince's Trust is all about, give us a brief synopsis. They do so much. Oh, they do so much. The Prince's Trust um, offers support to young people who aren't in education uh, or training um, to to find um, to find a, a career for them and, and things that they're interested in and support them and get them on the road to employment um, and, and give them a, a, a start in a, in a career really isn't it and they do different courses they do like get started in so it mm -hmm. might be get started in masonry or get started in in media and we we do we, our course is making it in media it's at index making it in media so it's people who want to have a job in this wonderful industry that we work in and um who can go on from this course to if they complete this course they can go on to uh, get higher day and hopefully get a job in the media industry now, earlier on, you surprised the, the group of uh, young people who are here today, 16 of them. It was a bit quiet when you walked in. I think they were like all in shock. <laughs> I don't. Like, How did Decker hear? I don't <laughs> think they were expecting us to come. No, I think they I, weren't. I a think, complete uh, surprise. We've, uh, we've flown in this morning to come and see them all. But yeah, this is our fifth, fourth, fifth course now mm -hmm. that we've done, that we've put on. Uh, we've done one in London, one in Manchester, one in Newcastle. We took it home in Newcastle uh, and we were determined to bring it over to Northern Ireland. Um, so we managed to bring it over today. Uh, yeah, we came in. We we like to get here for the first day and uh, welcome everybody, thank them for, for taking part in it and to really kind of outline to them what an amazing opportunity we can hopefully provide for them. Uh, they've got two weeks here where they'll learn loads about the media industry and at the end of it, as Anne says, there'll be a get hired day where we're asking businesses in Northern Ireland to come in if they've got any placements, uh, any jobs, any if they're looking for young people, young enthusiastic, energetic, raw, talented youngsters who, who they can give placements to and, and help change the course of their lives. We're asking employers to come and, and, and have a look at them on the 26th of July. Um, and, and um, yeah, and to, to open up the course here in Northern Ireland. It's been it's been a brilliant day. We, we, they had lots of interesting questions they for did. us. They did. They had very good questions. They had some great Normally questions. Normally on a first day in a course, where, uh, wherever we've been in the country, they're quite quiet. And then when we <laughs> see them again later on in the course, uh, that's when they open up and they're, they're loud and they've got lots of questions. Not here in Belfast. No, they're very they're, forward. I, they're, they're, there was lots of questions <laughs> from the off. Mm -hmm. uh, but all good questions, I thought. You know, people were really genuinely interested in television, working in television. Well, you know, w w the first question I think somebody asked was, if you start off doing one thing, can you move from that job into another job in this industry? Which, of course, the answer is yes. You know, it's, it's a really good industry to, to adapt in and, ch and change in. Um, but, yeah, that was they're, they're very good, very passionate about it. Exactly the same as we were when we were, we were that age and yeah. younger. You know, we just loved it and had a passion for it and interest in it we were like sponges when we were on the set of Biter Grove back in the day and we just wanted to know how everything worked quite annoying probably quite quite but yeah, bordering on you. You board, were bordering, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was a you big, were big, quite big annoying. I, I was just, mm. well, I, 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 I was charmingly <laughs> inquisitive. <laughs> quite annoying now. <laughs> <laughs> but tell you what, all those questions that stood you in good stead, like the pair of you, the biggest TV personalities in the UK now, with just success. Not in uh, height. No, well, <laughs> well, we'll maybe not get on to that because that seems to come up every time I meet it you guys. And it's a touchy subject. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to fancy. 
how high are those shoes? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a standard <laughs> three and a half inches. <laughs> Anyway, you were uh, giving the guys some hints and tips on how to get on uh, when you're working in media. And one of the girls, actually, Holly, asked a question that I wanted to ask you. And that was, do you ever suffer with the imposter syndrome? Mm. And I was like, oh, she stole my <laughs> question. <laughs> so uh, for everybody who's watching now, yeah. do you ever suffer with imposter syndrome? Yeah. Absolutely. We s you still get that feeling. We still get that feeling where we think there's going to be a knock on the door. And somebody says, actually, there's been a terrible mistake. It wasn't meant to be you. It was meant for somebody else. So can we have everything back, please? Can you go back to your old life? And uh, best of luck. But yeah, you know, you still get that. And, and sometimes you get it in the middle of a show. I've, you know, you can be there in the middle of, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. In the, uh, you know, in the rainforest of Australia with the celebrities. And you kind of go, I can't believe this is my job. Yeah. This is really my job. This is nuts. So mm -hmm. you still get that realisation every now and yeah, again. Yeah, and I, I think you probably get it in, in most walks of life, though, don't you? Yeah. We all <laughs> suffer from it. Um, maybe not every day, maybe not every week, but but every now and again, like Dexter, it'll just hit you and you just go, really, is, th is this for me? Even walking into the room today to meet these young people, I was like, right, do it, am, am I the right qualified, am I the best qualified person yes. to, to tell the people about, about the media? It turns out, yes, but you <laughs> still, but it's still, you still doubt yourself. Of course you do. Yeah. Of course you do. You, but you, you have, have a, an amazing CV, the pair of you. And like, yes, you started on Biker Grove and you were saying that um, your families were not involved in the media. Nah. Did you have any training at all? Did you go to drama club? No, or we, not we, like? kind of, we went to drama club like in at the summer school. holidays and things like that. But it was very kind of relaxed, informal. And that's part of the, part of the reason that we wanted to do this course was we came from council estates in the west end of Newcastle, not theatrical families at all whatsoever and we were given an, an amazing opportunity biker grove came along and that was an amazing opportunity so we wanted to try and give opportunities to other kids from similar backgrounds to us mm -hmm. who wouldn't necessarily ordinarily get an opportunity to to get a foot in the door of the media industry so that's that was the, the thinking behind this course and that's why we approached the princess trust and said look this is what we want to do can you help us and can we do it and this is what it's become now and it's it's like i say this is our fourth course now we've already got another one planned in london um and, and another one in newcastle so it's gone from strength to strength and we wanted to pass that opportunity on um, because we were given such a such a special one when we were younger. The Princess Trust, um, the way I've seen it over the years while I've been working alongside them, they seem to open a door. They can open many doors for people, yeah. and it's up to the young people then to walk through and make the most of that opportunity. And yeah. you were talking about creating your own opportunities and, and making the most of everything. So I have to say thank you for creating this opportunity oh, well, to no. open the door again for these young people because without this, they probably wouldn't have had a chance. No, and do you know what? Even if they don't get a job in the media industry, if they have built their confidence up, if they've met new people, if they've broadened their horizons over the course of the, of the two weeks, then it's been worth it. It Absolutely. really has. Because we, when we worked on Vita Grove at the age of 13, we suddenly went from one environment at school to working with uh, to Vita Grove to then working with adults, hearing different stories, um, s meeting different people, diverse backgrounds, stuff that we pro probably wouldn't be exposed to if we hadn't have done that show. So I think even if you just do these two weeks, mm -hmm. it will open your eyes to, to life slightly different than it was before. Yeah. And the Princess Trust as well, they are known to change lives, but also save lives yes. as well. So they, they do an amazing job. You guys have wanted to do this program for a long time. Mm. It's happening now. Very excited about it. And of course, the Get Hired. We want to mention that again, mm. because yeah. if you're watching this right now and you think, oh, I might have a, a chance for somebody to come in and do some work, um, who should they contact? Where do they need to go? Get in touch with the Princess Trust. Uh, like we say, we've got a Get Hired event on the 26th of July, and you can come down. And it can be anything at all. It can be a day placement three days a week three months whatever if if you've got an opportunity for these young people that they can come in and, and get some work experience and, and experience of a workplace and um, a taste of the industry um, we'd be really really grateful if you could come down get in touch with the princess trust um, it's www.princess-trust.org.uk I think. I tell you what, we'll put, put the link. Oh. We'll put the link put the on. Link on. <laughs> See if I got it right. <laughs> Did I get it right? Oh, I think I got it right. Look at that. You're See? getting the thumbs up. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Not I put bad. you on the but spot but for honestly, that one. If you are an employer, if you run a business, a media business, come down to the Get High Day because you could change a young person's life. Yeah. You really could. Yeah.
Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, thank you for taking time out to speak to us. Thank you. Hope Pleasure. you enjoy your time in Belfast. We're going to go and eat a load of potatoes now. Oh, do you know what? I should have brought you some cheese and onion. Oh. Or spring, spring, onion. spring, spring onion. onion. They're my yeah. favourite. Yeah. Everybody goes spring on about cheese and onion, but spring onion. Spring have onion you put them in a sandwich yet? The oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. yeah. The Belfast bap. Well, you get, you get yeah. uh, spring onion ones and they stay with you all day. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes the next morning. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Listen, best luck with the programme. Hope it's continued success. And we look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Thank you. Thank you.